Hello, this is Valerie at my Scrap Chick. And as many of you know, um, Cricut's recent update to their Design Space software has really messed with the sizing issue for uploaded SVG files. And so I'm going to show you today how to find the file size in inches for any SVG file that you're working with. We have thousands of files and I don't think we're going to be able to go through and add that to every single file, but I can show you how to get that information yourself. And right now I'm going to work with the frog easel card to show you how to get that. So you click on that, insert the image, and you'll notice that with this newest update, um, any file that is over 11.5 inches will automatically be resized. And so that can really, really mess things up. Um, when I do the files, I'm trying to get as many pieces into one file as possible so you're not spending all your time uploading files. Let me show you how to get the information you need. Go to the SVG file in your folder and right click. And that's going to open up an options drop down box. And you'll notice you go down and find open with. And over here you'll see that um, I have the option to open with any one of my browsers, Firefox, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer. And we can also open this with Notepad or WordPad. And Notepad is my preference just simply because it goes straight to the text in the SVG file. And in every SVG file, right several lines down from the top, you're going to find the text that says width and height. The problem is, is that the width and height in this document is in pixels. And you want inches. Let me show you how to find out what the actual inches are. Let me first show you, though, what happens when you open an SVG file in a browser window. Um, I think I'll open it with Google Chrome here. When it opens in a browser, it shows you all of the parts and pieces to an SVG file. But that's not going to do me any good on sizing, so I right-click if I'm using the browser window. And when you right-click on a browser window, you'll see the options like View Page Source. And it says something similar for both Firefox and Internet Explorer. So you click on that. And again, you get that text document like we saw on the notepad. And a few lines down, again, you're going to find width and height. You don't have to do both of these. You just need to use either use your browser window or use notepad. All you're looking for is one of the heights or one of the, the dimensions. You can use either width or height, but you don't need to do both because you can resize it proportionately. So I'm opening up a calculator here. And so we know that the width is 793.7 in pixels. Here's how to convert an SVG for any cutting software. You put 793.7 and you will divide that number by, let's see, where is it? Nope, over here. Okay, hit divide and you're going to divide it by 72 and hit equals and that gives you the inches for the width. So we know that the width is 11 Point zero two. Go back to your mat here and select everything. Nothing's been ungrouped yet. Go over to width and you want to make sure that the measurements are locked so that when you change the width you're changing the height also proportionately. So I put in 11.02 and that will resize the file to the proper size. And that's really all there is to it. It's a little more work. I can't wait until they finally fix that issue so that doesn't have to be done. But in the meantime, um, 
one thing let me show you too when in any of the new files that we're doing right now like um, right here I've got the freebie from this most recent Friday any files that we're doing right now until that issue is resolved we will be adding the file size directly to the cutting files so when you import any file all you'll have to do is look and find that measurement and we know that this is 14 inches tall by 11.75 inches wide so I'll work with the width again and again make sure that those measurements are locked type in 11.75 hit enter and there you have the correct size so anyway hope that helps and let me know if you need some help.